Greetings and welcome back to Machinki. I'm Catherine of Sky and we have gotten coal. We have all kinds of stuff. Oh, we got a, uh, a quest here. Collect our reward. Let's do that. All right. So we have stuff getting delivered now. I'm quite happy about this. Now, one thing that we can do before we leave this era, and I think it would be kind of a good idea to do so, is we can upgrade our depot here with an extension. Um, let's see, we can get a locomotive works, which is going to cost us 50 lumber tokens at 50 coal tokens. So let's just add this right over here, plop. And let's see what we got now. Oh, we have new engines. Let's just move this here and see what we've got here. Wow. Right. We have this one, which is top speed of 28 miles an hour, 170 horsepower. Um, yeah, it has a shorter length, but I don't know why we would use it. It costs the same amount to uh, to run. We also have the 210 uh, Russian, or Russian perhaps. Um, top speed, 60 miles an hour, 700 horsepower. Oh, this is so tasty. I think we're going to get this one and replace all of our locos with that, I'm hoping. But huh, it does require coal to run this thing. So um, I'm thinking that it might be a good idea to just right, let's send up all of our trains to there. Actually, you know what? Let's not go to the depot yet. I want to get to the next era because I happen to know that in the next era, we are going to get mail. And if we're going to transfer our trains to the depots, we might as well get that sorted. Now, before we go further with this, I do want to upgrade these stations. Uh, let's just put this on uh, play here. So we're going to have a, wow, where, uh, it's going to cost us. Let's put our signal box out here. Okay, that's too big for there. Put it maybe there. I guess extend this a little bit. There we go. All right. And that way we can get um, this organized. Hmm. We may have to edit this somewhat. Let's see what we can do here. And take this downward. Oh, no, no, oh, not that way. Oh my God. Bad mistake. Bad, bad mistake. Uh, it's okay. It'll be fine. I'm kind of running the game a little bit fast right now, just because I want to get more lumber tokens because these are very expensive things to add on here. Okay. Put a signal there. All right. Our first station is upgraded. Now then, I want to get uh, Kilmarnock also upgraded. Okay, we have storage building freight station signal box. There it is. And I guess we'll just stick it in right there. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. And then again, delete these two pieces of track. And um, we can actually get rid of that signal there. So I'd rather have the signal closer to the station anyway rid of this thing put our signal in there we go okay we have stuff <laughs> things are happening this is good yay all right so now we need 150 lumber tokens to do the rest as well we have one two three four more to do which is kind of inconvenient i guess i wonder if we should go to the next era um how are we doing on these things do we have enough to buy Ah, yes, we can now buy clearings to add even more um, lumber goodness, lumber making goodness, tree making goodness, because that's right now our um, our bottleneck is the uh, the amount of lumber that is produced at these forests. Let's see about here. We can also add that same thing here. Let's get the clearing. Put that right. Mm. Wrong sloping. Okay, well, we'll put it over here. It'll be fine. Okay, very nice. Is there any more logs that we can get coming in here? We could take these, maybe. I could add it to these, uh, either of these in input stations, or I could add another input and have it go out. Actually, that might be kind of a fun thing to do, is have another station here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. This one isn't even extended. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Uh, extensions, though. We do have the freight station, which is good. Storage building would be good, but we don't actually need it at the moment. Let's see. Coal hopper. Oh, coal. All right. 
Huh, I wonder if we should get a coal. Well, we don't have the iron yet. That ain't good. No, no. Did we get... We are in second era, are we? Did we get it? I've completely forgotten. No, no, we haven't. All right, so we, we don't see iron ore on the map yet. That's what is required for the second era, I, I think. Yeah, there we go. Early steam age to get to the next one. We need to pay uh, in lumber and in coal. But I'm wondering... I kind of think it would be a good idea just to get another station put in here. Let's see. Can I put this here? I'd really like to be able to get this station moved. Um, what we can do with this one is we can build an extension here of a decoration place, platform, like between, like right there, for example, and put in our station here. Now, I don't know if we can do a bridge here, but we can see. Nope, wrong track crossing. Yeah, it's too shallow, I think. Um, what if we deleted this part there? That would disconnect the station. Right. What if we put in our... Ah, but there's another there's another way to do this. There is another way. Oh, yes. Um... We could go... We could go... No, we couldn't go around, could we? Yeah, we could. We could actually technically go around. Uh, but this would be very, very interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of all these interesting things that could happen here. Uh, right, let's just put platforms here for a couple of tiles. I'm really kind of like thinking, like, how do I want to design this thing? How does this work? Does this work if we do this? Yes. Right. So we could actually do this. This might be a really good thing to do. Um, thinking about having a train line coming in and then the outward would be a turnaround, which could cross this line. That would not be a problem since this line is rarely ever used. Or this could even be a bridge here. That's, that's another option. I think we're going to do this. I think that's going to be fine. All right, so we need to look at the the miles per hour here. Let's go ahead and build this one. We have plenty of money. Uh, we'll do a stone viaduct here. Okay, and then what I want to do is create the track for the other thing. Now, this is going to go for now. And what we want to do is create our turnaround. Because I think we're going to have the the main line coming in this way and then the other line coming in from here I think hold on a second here let's see can we do this we do this and then we delete this part all of this and have this go underneath this line. I think that would be very useful. Let's get rid of these things up to that amount there. Just kind of go like this. I don't know, can we cross at an angle like this? This I don't know. We have to test this out. Let's check it out. See if we can go like this. Oh, look at this. Ain't that pretty? Yes, we will do this. Stone viaduct, yes. Okay, um, we'll take this. Thank you. It's only 600. I say this as my <laughs> budget is slowly depleting. Wow, that looks really pretty. That's really nice. I like this. Pretty cool. All right, let's go back to build mode. And um, we need to make this... Uh, this is going to be our turnaround. Because we have the trains having to reverse out of here to go this way. I think this should be okay. Um, let's see. We want to do clear, but not really... Whoa, right. I meant to do clear. I really, really meant to do that. Or the C, uh, like leveling is what I wanted. Um, and I did the down instead. That was my own fault there. Now then, um, when we have a trains, I've noticed that if you have an eight long train, you might want a nine long turnaround from the point where the tracks uh, come together. So they're not fully together here. This has to do with where they branch off. So we want one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's perfect. Okay, that is nice. So what we're going to do also is now put in the 
um, the one-way signals. And they're gonna go like this. Okay, uh, and life is now better. Um, this is going to be, of course, just the station. And I don't know what we can do about this. Let's see if we can just add another station platform. Yeah, we're gonna have to improve this station. Let's do that. Let's just click the station and say, hmm, signal box. Yes, that's what we want. There we go. And we're gonna get a couple of more tiles here for the station. This may be completely overkill. Oh, wow, it is completely overkill because right now, we have 260 wood and no ability to process it. <sighs> Sigh. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, 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 but look what we have. We have these things if we can only get some iron. So we may be able to improve this better. But we definitely don't need more logs. Hmm. I feel kind of bad now because it's like, oh yeah, I want this. I wonder if we could... I don't think we can buy industries at the moment at all. Um, or build them. Okay, that's a shame. That's okay. It'll be fine, though. It'll be fine. Um, but we don't need to continue building this right now. We have plenty of logs. We just don't have enough processing. All right. I guess we're going to have to just be sated with that until we can find another um, logs processing place. Is there another sawmill nearby? There's one here. There's one in the middle of this, uh, which is okay. Hmm... Yeah, we have plenty of things going on. It's like, no, I, the sadness, the frustration, the things, the stuff. Yes. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess we're just going to have to leave it at that for now. Maybe we should go on to the next era and unlock some of the things that will work for us. But I would actually like to have more production on that. Do we have enough coal production? Uh, and is this place able to keep up? It looks like it is. Let's see, extensions, nothing else we can buy at the moment. I think we could stand to have a couple more coal places connected here. So maybe I should grab them, grab these two, and just have them come in. Let's go ahead and do that. I think I think we want to do that. Um, let's build another station here. We'll do the similar thing there. What I can do is get rid of... Can I do a tunnel thing like this? Does that work if I do something like that? It does actually work. Look at that. Huh. Hmm. But I'd, I'd rather it not go quite that way. Um, we could do the same kind of a turnaround thing, just for example, here. That might be fun, actually. Uh, this level is what levels? One? Oh, this is hard to count. I really would like to have level, um, leveling thingies seen here. All right. I want to figure out how do we want to do this? We want to have a thing, a looping thing that goes around maybe and have stations like maybe one here, for example, and one here. I think that would work. Yeah. And then we'll have one loop that goes this way. And then this loop will come out somehow this way. I guess that's all right. We'll find out which where exactly to put this thing, but this one will have to go something like this. So maybe this one would go more like this kind of thing and then that one would come out this way and that one would join up here oh I love the track laying system in this game it is so nice it's so easy to do what you want to do it's really nice okay so this is kind of what we want we have one line feeding both and then the other uh, taking them away and I think this will work fairly well we could even include where is that other there's one coal mine here but you know there's another tool works over here. However, this tool works is not in any way um, overtaxed. I'm kind of wondering if I should save this coal for iron or for 
I know what you know what we're just gonna take it this way because I feel like it that's that's the reason <laughs> there's no other reason than that right mm hmm it's fine okay I want to get this going there and we want to go downward slope a little bit here so that this I think it needs two tiles of um, of undergroundies so let's go here okay yeah that's fine go ahead Nope, it didn't like it. It's too, too high still, I think. So let's go under, put it there. How's that? That doesn't like it either. Um, hmm. Well, we could go over the top. That is another option as well. Let's just fill this back and... I wonder if we should do a turnaround. I guess we could. Uh, there's no reason why not to. Um, let's see. This one is going to come through. Wow. One tile off. That is perfect. Uh, oh, we could actually send it. Uh, and then have it go through this way. Uh, or we could just have it go in one way and come out the other wonder if that would be that might actually be quite useful if we did that okay let's see what we can do with this so if we get this uh it's e there we go like this and c to get rid of this and what is bulldoze forgot modify terrain it's q q that's such a nice um excuse me q there we go all right, and here's that one going back there. Now then, we can have this guy come out this way. Just kind of choose where this thing goes. Oh, is this still off? Oh, it is still off. No! Must have looked at it wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and move it one more tile to the left. And get this one like that. Okay, this better be the right way. There we are. Uh, no, oh, okay, KOS. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Your brain is just disappearing. It's fine, though, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> uh, yes, I was aligning it with the wrong thing. Okay, now the important thing I think here is we need to decide how this is going to work. I think it might be good if we had it we could have it come in from the bottom side and then have the other thing coming up that way i think that would be fine the turnaround thing because i kind of i don't know i kind of want to save this area but let's see let's just use this lower area for our experiments and fun stuff and all the things so let's take this this way okay and the tunnel go from here to there now we have to remember you cannot have signals in the tunnel so that's an area of no signalness let's make a bridge from here to there like this ah there we go that should be fine I I'm still bummed that we can't go underneath this thing that seems really strange to me that we can't um, or maybe I just didn't go low enough that could also be so we'll just add this bridge here and this is going to be, we're going to have our straight line coming here, uh, but the output of this then needs to go to the side. So let's go and clear this, just kind of like we were doing in the other area. This is rather interesting that this is happening here. But um, yeah, let's take this upward and then it will come back down here as the, or it could just go straight through. It doesn't actually have to be a turnaround. Oh, that might work even better. Um, let's take this over. How do we want to do this thing? Is this going like there? Not enough tokens. Oh, no. Um, I think that's kind of what we want. We need 985 tokens. I need to run the game faster. Good lord. Um, let's get rid of this. But yeah, that'll work. We, we won't do the turnaround thing, I guess. Uh, well, we actually we do need to. 
we really need to do the turnaround because as the train comes in here, it will reverse out. So we do actually need to do this. Um, all right, so let's do that. Um, e. Unless we go and make a, a loop, we could do that. I'm, t I'm just wondering about looping if um, we add another station here. And we might, we might actually add another station here. Let's do this for now and see how it works. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be six, seven, eight, nine. Take this upward. Okay. And that's going to be fine. So yeah, we're going to have to figure a way to get that tunnel going. Oh, and I uh, I didn't realize this, but the the thing where the trains um, <laughs> they run out of fuel and stop if you have no money, uh, that is actually legit. That uh, happens. Uh, what happened was the ones that we were looking at still had some on the counter. Let's just go and click this thing uh, on this operating cost thing. When it uh, uses one of these tokens, it gives you a, uh, a full ability to use the whole bar. And then once it finishes the bar, you pay another token. So we had actually some of that operating power left on those uh, on those uh, things. All right, um, I think I wanna build the longer stations if we can. So let's go here at uh, St. Asaph's to build the signal box because we're still working on this and we're gonna pause this and i'm wondering if i should get rid of this road or not maybe i shouldn't maybe i should just put it on the end here okay that'll be fine too whoopsie i did not pause apparently okay, i can't use that one yet um if i unpause is that gonna go backwards slightly yeah there we go it's gonna reverse all right, you stay there. All right, you know what? I'm gonna let it go. Um, there we go. And anyway, to get out of that situation, you may need to sell stuff or possibly uh, I could take a loan. I, I have some a loan available. In fact, we could start paying back our loan. That might be a good idea too. Okay, let's pause the game now and delete. What is the delete key? R. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I can handle this. Um, C to make this longer. Two station blocks longer. All right, then we need to get this done. All right, stations, let's go for that. Take this down. Yay! Okay, and of course our signals. Boom. And then we'll let this guy go as well. So that's one done. Uh, now we can do station six near Plymouth. Hello. We can actually do two more. Let's do our signal box here. Let's put it right behind this house because nothing else can be built there other than a platform. So we might as well. Um, going to R to get rid of stuff. All right, station. Nice. And we will also put a signal right behind here. Excellent. So that the longer trains are gonna be able to uh, park here and unload instantly. So let's go with our signal box here. Put that there since nothing can be built there. All right, get rid of these guys. Get our station in here. And of course, another signal right there. Boom. All right, so I think we have just one, one more left. Oh, this is great. This is great. All right, so we're upgrading our signal places. This is very, very good. It's nice that we get our trains moving on here. Yes, good, good, good. Excellent. All right, let's go finish what we were doing with the coal stuff over there. Um, I seem to have <laughs> slightly gotten distracted, possibly, maybe. Um, all right, let's just flatten this area. I'm not even sure what that slope is. It's very curious. Um, let's just go and make this whole thing flat so we don't get any weirdnesses happening. Um, now then, uh, this thing, hmm, I want to go on this face of this thing, but I wonder how we're going to connect this. 
maybe like this. I don't know. Let's see. Does that work? It does actually work. Wow. I didn't expect that to work. That's really nice. All right. Tunnel T. There we are. 600. Okay. Excellent. And then our regular roads, tracks, roads, whatever things, stuff. Okay. Um, it's going to go up this way and then up and that way. Okay. We're definitely not driving on the left or on the right side, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Oops. Nope. 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 Um, remove. There we go. And this will be fun because we can actually set this up properly and stuff. It'll be really nice. Very, very good. And these we're going to have, I think, just one block there for this station. Because remember, we're doing eights, I, I hope, think. Uh, nope, wait, wait. Two behind that one. Let's remove this signal. We'll put a signal in the front, though. Um... That's looking good. And then we can do our eight signals here. That works. There. Oh, is that the right side? Yes, it is. Okay, good. I was like, oh dear, it's the wrong side. I will always want to have a signal right before the tunnel and right after the tunnel because tunnels cannot have uh, signals within them. And then that, I'll just randomly put one there. Well, not randomly, but just approximately. That's a better word for it. All right, we still have... Um, yeah, we really don't have any uh, backlog of stuff here at all. So I think this might be a good opportunity. Okay, so now the question is, how do we get trains on the line? What is the best way to get trains on the line? Um, I think it might be... I, I almost feel like having a train uh, thing depot connection that's just a single rail that runs nearby all the other rails and just can get a train to where it needs to go um but we can be a little bit proactive in this i suppose all right let me see about getting one hmm. i'm trying to think like do i want to connect it here i suppose that would work we did that um okay that will that will be interesting i wonder if it will work here though because of this diagonal business ugh we need a way to get the trains back on the line that's the most troubling part at the moment i guess we could do this thing here i don't know why i didn't think about this earlier that's kind of a weird thing um that's this way and of course that will go to the this ability to get back now then all i need to do is connect either this line or this line to these this thing in jingy um god it's so hard to think about it anyway um right uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i will what do we want to do with this connect to here Ah, this might actually be an okay opportunity there. Can we get this thing out of here? Yes, we can. Does this work? Not really. Hmm. I wonder if I were to lower this piece of land, would that help? That works, but this does not work. What about this? Mm. Ah, this does work. Interestingly enough. Seems to want a really wide turning circle though. It's, it's interesting the way the tracks work on this. Um, these darn slopes. What I could do, though, is I could do... Well, I could do something quite simple, actually. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. We'll do this instead. That should work. Maybe one more square? Yep. 
Ah, this, this probably will work better. Silly me. Silly, silly me. Okay, um... Let's just take this stuff, this little mountain down here. And also take our tracks this way. Go like this, and like this. And take this whole little thingy out. There we go, and then connect this to that. Perfect. So that will be our connection for stuff. Right, now let's put our signals here so we don't get confused in any of this. Oops, that needed to be that side, actually. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Um, so this piece of rail will be both directions, bidirectional. And this one will be there, and this one has to have another one there. And I think we should be sorted. I think this should be actually okay. Now then, we want to get our trains running here, finally. Um, <laughs> it's been kind of crazy. Like I said, I want to build up enough coal, uh, or have at least production. Not not so much a build up. We want to have production of coal here um, to get these things running. Now I'm going to have purposefully not um, the Russian or Russian uh, one here. I need to have something that doesn't run on coal, for example. So we're going to use a Baldwin uh, to get this. Uh, and I think we'll take two. I think we had two, right? And then seven cars, seven wagons. We might get even better wagons. I don't know. Ooh, we do. Um, I think we decided that the lens is very... Oh, but or we could get the fax. Oh. Let's go with the lens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we decided was enough. Or there's eight. Okay, eight is too many. Or nine is too many. Right. Borders. Go to. Um, station 13, please. Full load. Then go to station 10. That's going to unload. And then we want it to go to this waypoint. Just make sure it goes up this way. It should go there automatically. Um, but it's okay to also specify this. All right, let's go ahead and start this guy. And then where is it? All right, there it is. Then I want to start a new train with the Baldwin. And then I want to copy the orders. Wait, can I copy that? There must be a way to copy the orders. Nope, hold on. Can I copy the train's orders? There it goes, yep. That's how you do it. I almost forgot. Uh, anyway, what we do want to do is instead of station 13, we want to have station 14. So we'll add this here at the top, put it underneath, and then just delete station 13. Okay, and we said, I think, eight of these cars. All right, wagons. Get the window open. There's one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight i hope i think that's enough all right so go and let's see these trains are going i'm excited about this this is good is it this one i think it's this one all right you just go please go to the next station please go on it's still waiting oh no I'm going to delete the full load there really quickly. There we go. We'll add a full load and I'll just put it back in the station thingy. There we go. Train 18. We're anxious for you to get where you need to go. Let's go, buddy. We want to see you go there. It's going to be great. Oh, this is so nice. It looks so cute. It's a cute train. Here we are in live mode. Oh, hello. Tunnels are good. Nice. Okay, here we are. Coming to this kind of crossing. I kind of wish you could hear the um, the train sounds a little bit further away. Like here, I would still like to hear them at this distance. Okay, and here it goes. It is going to its destination. So it's going to be able to use the turnaround. This is going to be really cool, I think. Let's watch this happen. 
So the train's gonna pull in here, go, and it reverses here. And it's gonna go up this little switchback and turn around. I think this should be sufficient for only two trains. I don't think it's gonna be a major traffic jam or anything like that. I think it should be fine. And that other train should be coming as well. Is that this one? Train 20, yes, there it comes. Here it goes. This is another one with one one uh, car. I noticed that happened. I thought it looked cute, so I, that's on purpose. Oh, and I guess I don't need it to be that long of a, uh, of a switchback, but um, in fact, we could take it off. Let's just see train 18 fill up with stuff, with coal. We probably should, I don't know if we need to upgrade the coal mines just yet. I guess we'll see. Just depends on how fast they go around. And that's another thing. Do we need to upgrade these guys? Probably, n well, maybe if we upgrade the coal mines. Ah, yes, we have, we forgot to do this last time. Darn it. But it'll be fine. It will be okay. Well, darn it, these, put that there. That's good. Maintenance shed. Okay, timber tunnel supports. Ah, that converts wood to coal. Um, so that's it that we can do for that station. Let's go and look at this train. Okay, this is going through the tunnel. Oh, the fall foliage is so pretty. There we go. I'm gonna actually ride the train here. Oh, there we are. Getting in the train, looking at stuff. Okay, here we are. Boom. Nice. And we should be reversing as soon as the train unloads. We are actually going in reverse. <laughs> this is very cool. Let's see, we can go to this side of the train as well. And look at stuff. This is very peculiar going up the bridge backward. <laughs> That's neat. We can look out at the countryside too. There's the the switch back where we're going right here oh that's very cool oh there we go and we will reverse and then go right back into the station oh there's the other train arriving very nice i should slow down the game i guess <laughs> i'm going at way too fast the speed oh dear oh nice okay let's pop out of here that was really neat. That was really fun. Okay, so this works. This is fantastic. This is one of the new features that uh, that's in the game. I like this because if you wanted to, you could use this to climb mountains, like having traditional switchback tracks and stuff like that. If you wanted to really uh, sort of realistically model uh, a railroad that you want to build. So I like this thought. This is very good. Um, so we now have an overabundance of coal apparently here. It might be that we need to just get rid of this track and take all this stuff to this toolworks. <laughs> I really wish I could expand this industry. That would be very nice. Um, we do have 610 coal now, uh, 422 lumber. Let's finish off this last station expansion, wherever the heck that is. Did we finish them? This is, uh, no, we did not finish Bedford City. Okay, so let's just do Bedford City. Uh, signal box, yes. Put this here. It'll be good. And we will get our... Oh, there we go. I, I was pressing the wrong button. I was like, why does this not work? It does work if you press the right button. Mm -hmm. Hand signals. And here we have our larger station. And we can also... I don't know if we have enough, but we could also buy... Um, especially things like a restaurant here. That'll be good. So they have a restaurant now and um, can we build one at Norwich? Mm-hmm. Yep. Wrong sloping. Nope, still doesn't like that sloping. Have it facing the street side. And that's about all we can do with our current lumber tokens. I think in the next um, episode, we will go ahead and go to the next era because I think it's it's time. I, I've enjoyed this. I wanted to get some things set up for the next era, uh, but we want to see what trains we're going to get, what locomotives and 
and uh, hopefully we can get everything sorted. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.